home runs increase. I think the strikeouts go down. Now, I know he's playing at Petco Park. And the reason I want to spend a little more time on Manny is because Petco last year ranked third worst venue for hitters, making it difficult. Look what Machado hit at home. 219. He hit 289 on the road. Now, do you think a 219 average for Manny Machado is going to continue even at Petco? I don't think so. So, I think we're going to look back at 2019 as a year that was just not an average typical year for Manny Machado. I think he's going to improve on those numbers and going to be a star. Now, I've named eight players so far at third base, and I got a lot more to go. This third tier is loaded with players. Third base is very, very deep. You can wait and pick a third baseman in a later round if you want to. I would, I'm going to. I'm not picking a third baseman early. I'm going to wait because there's a lot of talent at third base. Listen to, to my third tier, okay? My third tier, Yoan Makata, Matt Chapman, DJ LeMahieu, Josh Donaldson, Vladdy, Eduardo Escobar, Max Muncy, Mike Moustakas, and Jeff McNeil. Now, when you add those three, those nine, that leaves me 17 third basemen so far. So let's talk about this tier three, and then I'm just going to give you some honorable mentions to finish off the list. Okay. Yoan Makata who I like. He's on that White Sox team. I told you, I have had a crush on the White Sox. I still have a crush on the White Sox. Guys, I'm a Yankees fan. I have nothing invested in the White Sox, except I think they have a great young team. Great young pitching, great young hitting, and one of those is Joan Makata. He's a five-tooler. Look, his average went up 80 points in 2019. He had a Babbitt of 406. Now, he had a 27.5% strikeout rate. Not good. He only played 132 games. But in those games, he had 25 homers, 10 steals, and 162 runs plus RBIs. 315 average. I think he's going to hit 30 homers. I think he's going to steal 15 bags. His average may drop some, sure. But the power is there. The speed is there. He's going to score some runs. He's one of those players who's going to give you points in all categories. And the average is not going to hurt you. Yon Makata in my third tier. Look, this third tier is loaded with all-stars. Matt Chapman. He hit 36 homers last year. 193 runs plus RBIs. Now, I know his average was down last year, but his fly ball rate, 43.1%. Wow. Probably better than a 250 hitter, but 35 homers in the heart of that Oakland lineup. Josh Donaldson, comeback player of the year for the Atlanta Braves. Now he's playing in Minnesota where they are going to hit home runs at another record clip this year. Vladdy, 123 games, 514 plate appearances as a 20-year-old in the American League East. And I know he only hit 272. And you guys who drafted him in your top second or third rounds last year, mistake. Mistake. Don't do that. And you don't have to draft him that high this year. But I think he's going to hit more than the 272 that he hit as a 20-year-old. I think he's going to hit more than 15 home runs that he hit as a 20-year-old now in his second season. He only had a 17.7 strikeout rate as a rookie. I like that. Let's look at that tier again. Wow. 
Makata, Chapman, LeMahieu, Donaldson, Guerrero, Escobar, 40 homers. Almost, I mean, Escobar can play second base and third base. Max Muncy, 35 to 40 homers. Moustakas hit 35 homers last year for Milwaukee, and now he's in the band box known as Great American Ballpark. Moustakas will hit 40. He's ranked 16th on my list, guys. And Jeff McNeil, the 300 average, 20 home runs, plays everywhere. I love flexibility in fantasy. So who is who comes after that? Just listen to these names at third base. All right, number 17 on my list. Excuse me, 17 was McNeil. 18 on my list, Yuli Gurriel. 19, Miguel Sano. And both of those players, Gurriel and Sano, will be first base and third base eligible. Danny Santana, who hit 25 homers last year for Texas, who can play at first, second, third, short, and outfield. And I've got him ranked 20th on my list of third basemen. Justin Turner. And, and I've even mentioned, those are my top 20, okay? 21 is Justin Turner. And then after that, we've got Andujar for the Yankees, Tommy Edmond for the Cardinals, Scott Kingery for the Phillies, Yandy Diaz for Tampa, Tommy Listella for the Angels, Gio Ursula. It, the list is incredible. My point being, you can get a very capable third baseman late in drafts. Would I be disappointed if I got Jeff McNeil as my third baseman or Mike Moustakas and I got them in the 12th, 13th, 14th round? No, I would not be. I'm going to spend my time making sure I've got the less deep positions covered. Third base is a gold mine in fantasy in 2020. So what are we going to do tomorrow? We're going to talk about another deep position tomorrow, that shortstop. I tell you something this year you may want to consider doing in your fantasy drafts. There aren't that many ace pitchers. That's Thursday's show. You may want to take a pitcher earlier than normal because I think the hitting will be there. I'm contemplating that. I don't know if you take a pitcher in the first round, but certainly you got to look at doing that by the second. There aren't many aces out there. I don't want to spend my show Thursday up today, but I can wait on a third baseman because it's a deep position. So that's our look at third base. I'm going to be with you tomorrow talking about shortstop. Hope everybody has a great day. Hey, it's great to see you in the chat room. I'm going to be around checking the chat room later today. I'm going to be looking at the Mookie Betts story. If something breaks on that uh, and no one's on air, I may go live with some story on Mookie Betts. I think he gets traded again this week. We'll keep our eye on Mookie. Keep our eye on the fantasy world. Eight days away from pitchers and catchers, guys. Who's excited? See, I can hear you cheering in the background. And thank you for being in the chat room this morning. Lenny, Andrea, thank you. Can't wait for that draft guide. And I'm going to use that as I firm up, maybe change around some of my positioning on my draft board. It's great to be with you this morning. Have a great day, everybody, from Arnie and Arnie's Fantasy World of Sports.